slides in sync here. Uh, tonight's format, uh, the budget status uh, presentation, we're going to make, uh, we're going to try to get it done in 45 minutes. We'll entertain questions after the presentation, and we're going to allow 45 minutes, uh, try to keep it to that, because then we're going to go through all the articles, and uh, we'll be here until midnight if we uh, can't uh, manage a little bit of time management uh, as we go forward. And, uh, we're going to talk about it in the uh, Warren Articles uh, special town meeting, which is a meeting that we're going to hold within the regular town meeting to cover some FY 2009 issues and then proceed with the annual town meeting at Warren. Uh, I believe there's a group here wanting to make a presentation on the, to fund the uh, turf field, and we're allocating some time for that too this evening. Next slide. Uh, so the budget goals for 2010 are to maintain services, prevent employee layoffs, maintain reserves to deal with further deterioration of the economy, and create long-term savings through efficiencies and changes to employee benefits. Now, we're in a, in a very bad economy. I'm sure all of you are aware, aware of it, and are feeling the pain associated with it. And the board feels very strongly that we need to do everything and anything to prevent employee layoffs. And this means making some sacrifices, tightening our belts, and getting clever about what we're doing. And in doing so, uh, we can avoid layoffs, maintain services. And uh, this is, these are the uh, budget goals for 2010. And it is a challenge. Just a, kind of a primer leading into uh, the budget. Uh, in the revenue distribution that we, that we have, the first thing that we do with revenue is we allocate revenue to our fixed costs. And, and our fixed costs are those items such as debt service, uh, employee, uh, employee benefits, health insurance, etc. And uh, what's left over is then divided between general government and schools for their operating budgets. So if you look at the, this slide here, the fixed cost represents about 28% of the town's revenue. General government, 25%, and schools, 47%. If you do the math, you find out currently, and it's been growing every year, that the uh, ratio between general government and schools is 34% of that money is for school, uh, general government, and 66% goes to the school budget. The major components of fixed costs, I'll just go over them because uh, some people uh, don't know exactly what those items are, but these are obligations the town has above and beyond uh, our general operating expenses, and that's to fund the vocational school, our debt exempt, and non-exempt. Exempt debt is that debt that we voted in an override to fund, for example, the Bachelor School uh, or uh, the Smith property. Uh, and then retirements. The retirements are benefits that uh, under contract have been earned by our employees who are retiring. And when they retire, they get their retirement package. And uh, that's a number that varies from year to year depending on the number of Retirees. And then we have employee benefits, general government schools, and that includes county retirements, which are, really covers general, uh, general government retirements. This is payment into the uh, middle sex retirement uh, fund, workers' compensation, and health insurance. These are the major compounds. There, there are a number of other small items I haven't listed here. Next slide. Actions taken uh, on February 2nd, 2009, uh, you know, clearly we have a major shortfall in our revenue going into next year. So the board is uh, taking steps. And one is we plan on level funding the health insurance, which is a saving of $283,814. This number, by the way, is based on what we've been told would be the increase to our health insurance for next year, which was a 6.5% increase. And then a lower the cap on non-exempt debt ceiling. Uh, a year ago, uh, a little over a year ago, we set up 
a debt stabilization fund. Uh, we, the fund uh, was uh, provided by monies received as part of the Lincoln Properties uh, uh, development, uh, which was the 40R. We put that money aside to leverage borrowing. So what the board has decided to do in this extraordinary year is what, what we were doing was we were capping the debt, the non-exempt debt, so that more money would flow into operating budgets. And what we've done for the next two years, our plan is to lower that debt by $150,000. Uh, additional uh, debt ceiling, and that money flows directly into both general government and school budgets. Next slide. So when you put all the numbers together,